Welcome to our clinic. Today we're going to review the clinical side. We're going to be talking about the major setup, the basic principles of straightforward implant surgery and how to make everything more efficient and effective. And implant surgery is no different to any other type of dental alveolar surgery. However, because we use biomaterials, that being the implant itself or sometimes augmentation material, we have to be even more precise and strict in our sterility protocols and in our procedures. So our major guidance is the principle of being minimally invasive. That means that you try to get the optimal healing outcomes with disturbing the tissues as little as possible. And during the surgical videos, you will see quite a lot of techniques of trying to minimize the trauma. But in principle, as a surgeon, you should think like a burglar. You're breaking into somebody's body and you're not supposed to be there. So what are the principles of a burglar? Be very quiet, complete your task as quickly as possible and leave no traces behind. And I think this is very similar to what a surgeon will be thinking of. In being quiet, it means being minimally invasive. That means respect the tissues, open as little as you need to get access where you want to operate, and also try to make the trauma as little as possible. For that, you will find a lot of help if you use microsurgical instruments, instruments who are designed to be held with a pencil grip between your thumb and your index finger, and that can give you very, very precise control of your movements. And you will also benefit from using surgical loops. Magnification will make your work much more delicate and will help you take advantage of the fine microsurgery instruments. Also, by using loops, you can help yourself always maintain a correct posture of, uh, and that will be, from an ergonomic point of view, very important. Other than loops, you will benefit from having your own head-mounted uh, illumination, an LED light or any other source of strong light which comes between your loops and helps you illuminate exactly the area that you're looking. It is not always enough with your surgical light uh, from the top of, of the unit. Now, second principle, and that is to be quick as possible. And we know from many studies that the longer a surgery takes, then the more complications we face and the more likely we are to have troubled healing, to have more pain and more swelling of the patient. So it is important to make your surgeries quite quick. And that will not happen by moving your fingers uh, in, in quick or magical ways. This only happens by streamlining your procedures. That means you always sit at the right spot, you access your instruments very easily and you don't have to spend time moving back and forth, changing instruments, or, or changing positions, and of course that you use only the instruments that you need. You don't clutter your tray with instruments that might be fancy, but might very, very rarely be used. So if I would uh, go through a little bit the basic setup here, first thing is to define your space and the space of your assistant. So if you're right-handed, you will be sitting at the right of your patient, and your assistant will be on the left side. Now define very clearly the margins of your space so you don't really enter each other's space and, and create some troubles. If we see it as a clock, your space will be between 8 o'clock and 12 o'clock position and your assistant will be between 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock. And if you stick to this side, you will be much more easy to cooperate and to calibrate yourself with your assistant. Second important thing is to put your tray with the surgical instruments in very easy access to you. Ideally, it should be on your right side and in a position where you can access all the instruments with just a simple movement of your right hand and turning your head. Not really big movements, not turning your back, not turning around, not moving too far. Put your surgical instruments in the order you expect them to be used and then access them easily by turning your head and turning your hand there. Then also the same for your assistant. He or she will also need a tray at her right side with some essential instruments to make your life easier during the surgery. So try to minimize any move and any type of search. And the less instruments you have, the quicker it will be for you to actually access them and use them. Try to use them in the right sequence and minimize the number of the instruments on the tray. And you will find very quickly that your surgeries will be much more efficient and much quicker. 
Now, finally, you have to leave no traces behind. And that means that you have to achieve a very good wound closure without much tension, with fine sutures, and with as optimal positions for healing as possible. And in the clinical videos, we'll see quite a few examples of how techniques and instruments can help us close completely, efficiently, and with minimal uh, potential for complications.